Hi guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to gomahamaya.com. In this beautiful tutorial, we are going to learn how to use icon box element of the Elementor plugin. And apart from that, we'll learn how to implement these kinds of advanced animations to your icon box. So let's get started. To create these kinds of beautiful icon box, you need this icon box. Apart from that, you need Elementor Pro. If you haven't purchased the Elementor Pro, I gave the link in the description box. You can purchase it. And next step is to create on this add new section, click on it and then choose the three section or four section, whichever the sections you want. I'll choose the three section for teaching. Next, we bought three sections and now I'm going to this option and then I'll scroll it down or you can search icon box in this area or directly you can scroll it down to till this option and drag it in this area and next again drag this in drag in this area again drag in this area first we learn how to use the icon box then we are going to learn the special effect how to apply it on it so first step for icon box is the icons that you can choose from the library you just click on choose library and once you are on this page you choose your appropriate icons let's assume i want this icon for my work i'll choose and click on insert for this one i'll choose some other icon anything like this for this one i'll choose something looks like this and the second option we have is view that you can choose a default and for this one we'll choose as tagged there's like uh, you have two option when you choose tag go to style and you'll see the primary color and the secondary color and if you'll go to this choose framed and i'll go to style i'll found two colors primary color and the secondary color if i'll go to this one after choosing default if you'll go to colors or style you'll find only primary colors so this is the difference between these three and next these are the three options that we learn from the shapes next you can add the title and the description so this is the title and this is the description for your icon next option we have link so you can paste the link whatever the link you want to add for your boxes i'll click on the link i'll copy the same link and i'll paste here i'll go to link option and here you can choose open link in a new window or you can choose no follow if you're using any third party website if you're, this is not my third party website this is my own website so i'll avoid choosing add no follow once you are done click on this gear icon to close this window next option we have is the icon position for icon position we have responsive option you can put the layout you can put the icon position different on laptop mobile and desk first i want icon to be in the left side and here i want in the center and for this one i want it to be so this is how icon position work you can click on this and change for mobile for mobile you can make it everything in the center so people can easily view the things it's come back to the center you can change it to the anything you wanted i'll go back to the device option and next we have html tag if you'll click on this you'll see h1 s2 s3 h4 heading you can add to your title of the icon box i'll choose s3 or h4 like both are perfect for the headings of icon box as if we consider it as feature box or exactly you can tell it as feature box next option we have is style so in the style first option we have is a primary color for because we have chosen the default one so only we can change the primary color and when you hover over this you can change the 
icon color so let me choose it as this color and then for hover if I anyone hover over it I want it to be red so this is how hover function work for icons this is especially for the icon and there's like one more CSS you can add for the content so you can choose one by one so this is the first part and then the spacing based on the devices to maintain the responsivity next option we have is the size size of the icon you can increase the size of the icon like this or let me go to this option and go to this one and sizes let me increase the size so this is how you can maintain the size of the icon box and then you can manage the padding so this is how padding works and you can maintain the padding based on the devices next option to rotate this I'll go back to option next option we have is to rotate you can create a rotation for this particular watch or the icon which ever you are using so let me keep it as 90 degree and we can give a border radius of 5 so currently this is in round shape and you can make it square or anything like half some radius currently th this is at 60 or uh, 50 degrees see 50 degrees like little like 360 degrees there so it's completely round and then we'll make it some 20 border radius or some 40 border radius so this is how border radius is going to work and next option we have contained for the content you can choose the alignment and position position of the particular content let's say if, if I go to this one this is for the alignment and I want it to be in the center it's already there in the center you want it to be justified so it will be justified and next these option work better if you will go to this content option and change the position of the icon and choose the content position so how you want it to be justified right left so it will look more better then you can maintain the spacing between title and uh, the content or you can maintain the spacing between the icons by going to the icons and this content so spacing will be maintained so this is how you can maintain the spacing between the icon and the text box next I'll go to contain box again and there we have an option called vertical alignment now to understand the alignment we have three options top middle and the bottom but whenever I'm choosing you can see the icon is moving instead of that content but this particular style is for content so content should move why my icon is moving the reason is that the size of the icon is smaller than the size of the text let me take you to example uh, I have just opened this one in a one new section so I can understand you like I'll go to this one so I'll make it appropriate how the things work like this is how column is there right both the columns are safe if you don't trust me I'll duplicate this and I'll delete this I'll create new section I'll pull this one and I'll delete this column so now if you'll see both the things are similar now I'll go to edit option of this I'll go to style I'll increase the size of the icon once you increase the size of the icon just go to the content understand the alignment now top middle and the bottom this is how alignment is working and next option we have inside the content spacing you can maintain the spacing between the title and the description which is written there so if you want your title to be there on the top so even to maintain the responsivity of the icon box you can choose a tablet option and mobile you can design it 
next option we have is to choose the color for the title this is for the title part and this is for the description part and you can change the typography font family weight transition style decoration and all these you can maintain from the typography typography and next option we have is text stroke you can increase the strokes and next you can add some horizontal blur or shadow you can create a sh shadow for this particular text for looking beautiful so these are the concept there in the edit icon box apart from this i told you to tease the advance option so i'll go to advance i'll select this particular icon and i'll go to advance and then i'll go to motion effect and i'll turn on scrolling effect inside the scrolling effect first option we have is the vertical scrolling and the horizontal scrolling if you'll go and look at this particular option you can see vertical and horizontal both the actions are working this is how you can see first i'll click on this i'll turn on the vertical scrolling and once you turn on you'll see this icon box is moving away from my mouse cursor and this is the box and this is the box as a reference and you can see it's moving like only in one direction but if you'll turn on horizontal too you can see it's moving like in angular way right so for this i won't choose to write i want it to move to right okay and for this one i want it to move from left to right okay for this one it was like go to motion effect and go to horizontal to right is will be to left and the viewport is 50 percent so this is how it's gonna work if you'll remove the center part it will be like more better see this is how it's working it's uh, i have to make little change here that is moving is only one direction vertical and now it's fine now if we'll move this one also like there's an error for this one also there's a error let me check no it's working fine right it's moving away and coming together next what we are going to do we are going to add a transform so we are going to offset our icon to some places so it seems like it's combining at one place you have to adjust based on the devices so if you're using it should be responsive so for this one okay fine so it will be like this it will be like this so you can offset it based on your requirement so it's moving from this direction and it's moving from this direction is giving a better look even you can adjust this one in a same scenario so they both merge at the top of the sections so go to this one go to uh, transform go to normal offset put the same value for this one like what are the value you gave at this transform go edit 36 and 159 go to this one and go to transform go to offset minus 159 so this is how it's gonna work right it's looking great right similarly the way i told you we are going to learn how we can design our image box so this is how offset work so i hope you find this video useful if you did give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates thank you